So YouTube EDU was started uh, a little over a year ago, in April of uh, 2009, to make the world's educational uh, uh, learning material accessible online for free on YouTube. We now have 350 full courses available on YouTube EDU. Nearly 70,000 videos in the YouTube EDU library that are uploaded from various institutions. And some of our partners include the University of Cambridge, MIT, Yale, uh, University of California at Berkeley, Stanford, and so forth. So we have some of the top institutions in the world on EDU. And I got this killer lecture on like frog dissection. And I want to put it up. And my university doesn't, you know, thinks YouTube is something that should be banned and whatever. How do I approach YouTube? Reach out to us uh, uh, via email. There's a, a, a channel, uh, youtube.com slash partners. Okay. And on that channel, you can apply to be a partner. And, uh, and, and essentially, that will go through the system. In, in the email, you'll say, please note that I'm an educational institution. Lead engineer who developed automated captions uh, is a guy by the name of Ken Herenstein. And Ken Herenstein is uh, deaf, and he is also an MIT graduate. And when Ken was at MIT, he went into the lectures, and he tried to sit through and, and watch and enjoy those lectures, but he couldn't. I mean, sometimes he could do some lip reading, and that was helpful, but at the end of the day, he wasn't getting that element of the education. Well, now, through this magical auto-captioning technology that he helped create, he is now able to go back and watch the lectures that he couldn't attend or di didn't want to attend because he couldn't understand what was happening, what, what they were saying. Um, he, could, he is now able to go back and watch those lectures. As long as your lecture is in English and the audio track is pretty clear, it will automatically, or a user can automatically generate captions from that audio. Uh, those captions appear at the bottom of the video, and then they can further be translated into over 50 different languages. So you can imagine, like, this idea of having education accessible everywhere is really starting to come to fruition when you can upload a, a lecture in Berkeley that's in English, and a student in Japan can watch that lecture and that's translate amazing. it. One of the most popular uh, videos in the EDU section is Randy Pausch's last lecture. Carnegie Mellon professor diagnosed with cancer um, delivers uh, what is called the last lecture uh, at, uh, to his students. It's also a pretty neat video called The Science of Watchmen, which um, involves a professor, I believe it's at the University of Minnesota, who was consulted uh, by the movie studio that produced The Watchmen on how to create the special effects. And that video also has over a million views. Hmm. And then another pretty popular video that, that I personally find inspirational, and I think a lot of others do as well, is Steve Jobs' uh, uh, commencement speech at the Stanford graduation. One really fascinating application that I saw recently was a, uh, uh, an open heart surgeon uh, had was giving his uh, his group of medical students a lecture uh, 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 while he was performing surgery, as they often do. One of the things that, that, that this particular surgeon did is he shot that in 3D. Hmm. And you can imagine that as a medical student, being able to watch a video in 3D and see exactly what you know, bits were cut and what. So you sort of get a alone. scalpel eye view. Yeah. Of so you get the procedure. scalpel eye view of this procedure feature called annotations that um, allows you to make the video more interactive. So it, it becomes at the end of the video, you can click on on a bit of the video and it takes you to another video. You can even you can even give quizzes on YouTube, which is which is kind of an interesting thing. But I've seen a lot of users start playing with this idea through annotations, where they say. You know, what is the answer to the following question? And they give either a true false choice or a multiple choice A, B, C, D. And the annotations are and those annotation. little text things that you can type in after you shoot yeah, your footage. Yeah, or yeah, and you literally create these interactive bubbles. More and more teachers today, and, and whether those are high school teachers or whether they're college professors, are recognizing the power uh, that, that's inherent in technology and the internet and the ability with just a few clicks to literally give anyone in the world a chance for an education. And I, I think that's a pretty powerful um, um, 
uh, realization that, that, that and, and benefit that we all are, are, are feeling today.